What's up everybody? Coach Joe here with another great workout for you. This one is going to be variably timed stations. So the work is going to go down, but the rest is going to stay the same. We're kicking it off with 40-20. All right, so first round is going to be 40-20, then 30-20, then 20-20. The rest stays the same, but the work is going to change each time. Okay, so the movements are Sing, uh, stability ball leg curls or the TRX leg curl, okay? I show you the TRX leg curl. If you were doing the stability ball one, you put your feet up on a stability ball, doing the same thing. You're in that bridge, pulling it in and out. And then lateral box run, in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out, okay? After that, it's jump squats. All right, get a good squat in there and get off the ground a little bit. It doesn't have to be a super high squat, we just want that time under tension to be released because we're in the air and then we re rebound right into that squat. After that, it's AR twists, okay? We want to make sure that our hand stays right outside in front of our sternum. So when we rotate this way, as you see, I want your hands to stay there. All rotation is going to be done in the core. Burpees, just good old-fashioned burpees. Single arm, dumbbell clean. So. Pick a challenging weight on this one. Don't make it super easy. All right, we want to work that entire movement. So we are flipping it up. So grab those hips and then we want to flip it up. Remember, high pull flip rather than a reverse bicep curl or hammer curl to flip it, okay? Single arm kettlebell squats or dumbbell. Basically, we're just going to rack it in one side and we're going to do our squats with it, okay? Um, after that, it's W line drill. Literally jumping in a W, all right, forward and back, okay? Um, very simple movement there, but it could really be effective with the calves, ankle mobility, ankle strength, and all that. After that, it's bent over rows. Good hinge position. Make sure that back stays straight. We want to be here. We don't want this, okay? Um, after that, it's bird dog plank. So good bird dog plank in a plank position, opposite hand, opposite leg. If you got to go to all fours, go to all fours, and you can just do it that way also. Um, after that, it is jump rope, good old-fashioned jump rope. Use the jump rope if you can't. Um, it's the only way you can practice. The only way you can get good at it is, is if you use a jump rope. And then finally, single arm dumbbell overhead press. So we're just here, one arm at a time, pressing it out, all right? And then you're going to switch and press it out. Any movement that you have alternate sides, just do three on one side, switch three on the other, switch three on one, switch three on the other, okay? Then after that, we're gonna get a little break and then we got our finisher. It's actually a bear crawl, it's a Tabata plank. During the rest period, all right, you are doing a bear crawl, all right? Our goal is to get max distance. Now on that bear crawl, make sure that our knees are only about three to six inches off the ground and you're walking across. So you're only walking for that 10 seconds. And then you're gonna be in that plank for 20, bear crawl for 10, plank for 20, bear crawl for 10, plank for 20, and so on, all right? Uh, if we were scoring it, we wanna to try to get max distance, okay? But you're only moving during the recovery. And then that's it for the framework. Workout number two, week number three. Let's get after it.